Now you can see firefighters are still here hours after this fire started. It certainly destroyed this entire block. Several businesses involved here. On top of that building right there where you see that missing area, that's where apartments used to be. They're gone after they collapsed. Residents and this entire community devastated by the loss. The fire so devastating, residents were reduced to tears. She's one of nine people now without a home after her apartment went up in flames. Five businesses, including a tax place, a nail shop, and a beauty salon, all in the heart of Homestead, nearly an entire block of East 8th Avenue, all destroyed from this raging fire. The flames are shooting up to the sky. I was. I was sick to my stomach. It's something you never want to see. Just devastating. Devastating. The biggest concern residents trapped inside. Two were rescued, a third initially missing, but later accounted for. For more than six and a half hours, firefighters from 22 area departments tackled the seven alarm fire from the ground and from the air as residents watched in fear. And it was just unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen a fire. That bad. I mean, where all the buildings were on at one time. I mean, it was really scary. This is really heartbreaking. Uh, a lot of work's going into this area here, like they were saying on the news and stuff like that. And hopefully, nobody really hurt. Firefighters commended for doing a remarkable job as they dig through the rubble, searching for a cause. The next step is where to go from here. Uh, we'll have to get a building inspector to come in, determine which buildings are uh, salvageable. Obviously, we know for a fact at least one, if not two, already are going to have to be demolished. Now, of the nine residents, two are hospitalized at this hour. We're told for smoke inhalation that they are expected to be okay. The Red Cross, though, is helping out all of the residents here. And right now, investigators want to talk to those residents as well as the business owners who are now forced to start over. That is a major part of this story as this town is forced to rebuild. I want to bring in Pittsburgh Action News reporter Bob Mayo. And, Bob, you had a chance to talk to some of those owners. That's right. And those business owners already are struggling with what they're going to do now. They include a woman who's been here most of her lifetime and a man who opened for business just days ago. Swallowed in flames, smoke, fire damage, homestead businesses in this block. 8th Avenue is on the National Register of Historic Places. 78 year old Shirley Anderson owns a business and a building that was bouncing back from a fire next door last year. If I rebuild, are my tenants going to come back? I've been in business for 59 years. Do I want to stay in business? I don't know. Homestead's mayor, Betty Esper, is expressing confidence in these businesses and in this community. We got strong business people who believe in this borough, and we're going to continue to build. I guarantee you that. They are struggling with this sudden latest challenge. I was shocked. I was in shock like that can't be our new business that we just opened three days ago. And it's going to be a big impact when you don't see these buildings that have been up here since 1890. But business owners are expressing faith in their future. You can't worry about things you can't change. There has not been any life loss and you just you keep going. You don't stop. You just keep going. Donors, these town, this town has worked to bounce back from adversity before, economic adversity, adversity of fires and other disasters like what we're seeing here now. They are already talking about how to move ahead. Reporting live in Homestead, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.